The good news, there's a little more normalcy in our lives. The bad, thousands of pandemic pets are being taken to animal shelters. It's heartbreaking, but here's a ray of light. A young race car driver whose mission is to keep them supplied with what they need while they wait for new homes. Let's meet the man who's racing to the rescue. To the number 10 Toyota, Zachary Tinkle. What goes through the mind of a race car driver when they're doing 150 around a track? For Zachary Tinkle, it was pets give so much to us that it's only fair to give back. We had a trailer from when I raced in the Mini Cup Series, and that's how we invented Racing for Rescues, where we're going to try and take supplies to shelters where we can. Tinkle races in the NASCAR Arkham Menard Series and will collect donations at several raceways throughout the year and deliver them to shelters in need. He has some tips on the things animal shelters need most. Let's start with cleaning supplies. You'll want a concentrated cleaner and for like um, laundry, it's usually you'll want something free and clear. You mean free of dyes, free of mm -hmm. scents, things like that? Yes, dyes and scents aren't really good for a dog because a lot of dogs don't like the smell. I'd never thought about how much laundry does a shelter really do? They do basically the laundry of a single household that you would do in a week or to even two weeks. They do that every day. So they have all these dogs, all that bedding, and they got to just keep all that clean for their health. Yeah. Yes. Next up, treats. Sometimes you drop off treats. Why do you do that? Most places will use the peanut butter, and that's how they'll give them like their pills or stuff, because most dogs just won't eat a pill. Be sure to only donate creamy peanut butter that doesn't contain the artificial sweetener xylitol. As it can be very poisonous to dogs. And don't forget about treats for the people that work at the shelters. Most of the staff at these shelters are volunteers. When you give the staff the treat, you don't make them sit, stay, beg. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Finally, money. I'd say at least 95% of the shelters that I have visited, they are nonprofits or you know a foundation or a not-for-profit organization. Financial donations can help cover so many of the costs incurred by shelters. Bonus, they're tax deductible too. Have you seen the differences can make in an animal's life? It's a dog's second chance at life or a second life, if you will. From pit stops to pet stops. Check us out at racingforrescues.org. We're racing to help our best friends.